Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel again. What's the fuss? Well, today I have for you a Walmart wax haul. Went to Walmart, um, out of town, same place if you watched the previous video. We went to St. Clair, PA. And, um, after we did some grocery shopping, we made our way to the candle aisle. And I picked up a number of things, and I'm going to share them with you. And then I also made my way up to the craft department, and I got some stuff in there just the same. So I hope you had a beautiful Saturday, everyone. And, yeah, we're just going to move right along with this haul. So, in no particular order, I got some coloring books. This one here is called, it's from Crayola. It's called Wildflowers coloring book it has 40 pages each page is 8 by 10 I mean 8 by 5 by 10 and like I said 40 coloring sheets and this is from Crayola and hopefully we'll be able to see what's inside of here um, some beautiful pictures just randomly gonna pick a few I love coloring, and I've been coloring in all the books I have so far. But I picked up some more. This is perfect for the spring and the summer, even early fall. We got sunflowers and everything here. So this book was something like six or seven dollars. You know, um, it has quite a bit of cute pictures in here. When you're done with these, you can tear them out. It has perforation. You can frame these if you chose to. So, pick this one up, like I said. That's just a few of what's, what, what's in that one. Then I picked up this one. It was a dollar. It's called Pet Pals Jumbo Coloring and Activity Book. It's by Bendon, Bendon, Bendon. It says tear and share pages. It was a buck. So pretty with the puppies and the cats on. And it's, you know, coloring and then like other activities in there. I'm um, not sure if this tells me. I'm looking. I don't see nothing here about how many pages there's in here, but there's quite a few quite a few pages to color maybe 20 30 and this was only a dollar pet pals got that one then I picked up this one this one I think was something like close to eight dollars this is 288 pages plus two sticker sheets by Crayola it's called the epic book of awesome coloring book this is thick super thick and like they said we have all these stickers two pages worth that's one here's the second one hey hold on just a moment please my husband's here okay sorry about that interruption but hubby needed me Okay, so as I was saying, this huge 288-page coloring book from Crayola came with the two sheets of stickers right here. Two sheets of stickers. And then it came with all these pages to color. And we'll just go through a few of them. This will keep you busy for a while. I like to sit and color at least two or three pages a day. If not, up to five. Depends on if I have the time or how I feel, what my mood is. 
but I love to sit in color. So relaxing, so stress-free. Yeah, this is a huge one. Very, very thick. Okay, then I also picked up a fourth one. This one here is called Timeless Creations. Sweet and Savory. The Art of Coloring Coloring Book. This was another one that was somewhere well over $5, $6, $7. That big Sunday, big burger. And again, these are perforated too. You can take them out, frame them, put them up on a wall. This is the very thick paper stuff. This, is, this paper is very good for coloring on. And like I said, I love crayons and colored pencils most. Because I find that the markers bleed too much. This has a lot of pages in too. This one has a lot of pages in this book. And I'm looking to see, it says Rose Art on it also right there. And um, I'm not sure here, I'm looking. To see how many pages there is in here. It's not telling me. But there's an awful lot. There's an awful lot. This is another thick one. It's very thick. So I got four coloring books. And then I picked these up. These were $2.47. You get a six count. This is by Pen and Gear. These are called the Easy Grip Crayons. Non-toxic. Sorry, I got indigestion here. Smooth drying and... I know how to say this word. Just give me a second. Just because I want to say it now. It means when it's easy. It, it, right here. They're designed for comfort. These are kind of like, I don't know, teardrop shape, I would say. These work out good. I, I'm going to go get me a couple more packs of these in Walmart. Right here. See how they're shaped. And then they have that little groove in them right here. Jesus. When you take it out, it's a comfort feel on both sides to work with. I know how to say the word. It just won't come out of my mouth now that I wanted to. Um, ergonomically. Hallelujah, I got it out. Yes, that's what I was trying to say. But for $2.47, these are pretty nice. This is, you know, a comfort... It's got a groove in it on each side. There's that groove right there where your finger fits in so comfortably front and back for the forefinger and the thumb. Yeah, so I picked these up for $2.47. And somebody that, you know, has trouble um, with their hands, their fingers, um, holding maybe regular crayons, pens, or pencils. But, yeah, for $2.47, you can get these. And they're comfortable. It's a comfort fit when you're holding it. Yeah, ergonomic. I couldn't get the word out of my mouth. I know what I was trying to say. Yeah, never seen anything like this before, but yeah, got these. I definitely think I'll be getting a few more packs. That's pretty reasonable. Two forty-seven for those. And um, wish they came in some other colors, but we got the basics. So that takes care of the coloring department right now. Then my husband, he was in the aisle with me, but he 
um, went next door to where it continued. Wax melts on one side and warmers, and then next door, candles and this and that in the following aisle in the Walmart we were in, in St. Clair. So my husband was ahead of me, and he said to me, did you find your tea lights? I said, no, I didn't have a chance to. I'm still looking at things here in this aisle where the wax melts were. So um, he found them, and he picked them up for me, he went looking, and he got me more of the Amari, which is what they're called. These are the Amari 100-pack of the tea lights. These are four... 47 for 96 something like that a few cents of five dollars for a hundred so he picked me up two packs these are the hundred packs so i got 200 more tea lights um that should keep me for a little while and because i go through a lot of tea lights in a, in just in a week's time so um six warmers going throughout my house just about every single day just in tea light. And then I have, like I said, um, usually a bowl warmer, if not two, and a hot plate. Because my home is big and it's spread out. So I want to make sure, you know, and the rooms are quite large. Or I mean, they're not standard. They're beyond standard. They're really, really big, the rooms. So um, I use a lot of tea lights. Um, also... But I use my warmers, you know, my electric ones, whether the hot plate or the bulb. I use them too. And some days I might not use a tea light. It depends on my mood. So, tonight, while he was searching down the tea lights, I was still looking over the wax melts. I found the Better Homes and Gardens banana and pumpkin bread. Hello. Yeah, they had it. Tamakwa didn't, where I mentioned a day or two ago um they had zero they were wiped out but this place had plenty so and my uptown does but my husband doesn't like going up there that often he'd rather go out of town so this is a better homes and gardens banana pumpkin bread which is pumpkin honey cinnamon banana bread brown sugar vanilla bean and caramel love this it is not spicy in any way where it says cinnamon it's a bakery sim not a red hot cinnamon and everything about this is sweet yeah it's really really good so oh my god I, if this wasn't wax i'd eat it this smells so freaking good banana bread and pumpkin bread so this happened to me once before when i went to a walmart some time ago i don't remember which one but this is a how they bundle them. There's this band here. Do you see this plastic band? Sometimes they'll take them off when they put them in the, those spring ringies. And sometimes they just put the whole damn thing in like this in the spring ringy. So these bands are fit to hold five clamshells in a bundle. And of course, all banana pumpkin bread. So I got five this way. And then I got a single this way. So totally, total, I got six of the better homes and gardens banana pumpkin bread love this scent all year long oh my god it's so good it smells like someone's baking in your house all day okay oh i'm sorry i said six here seven so there's the two singles and there's the five again so i got seven packs of this and i will be using it let me tell you before you know it i'll be looking for more of it I can just use that all day, every day, day straight in a row. I just love it. Okay, then let me make sure to do these baggies. Okay, then I picked up another one of the mainstays. If it would stay in my hand. Another one of the Better Homes and... Um, oh, my God. Let me take a deep breath again. All right, Mainstays Vanilla Wax Melts in the Vanilla Buttercream and Marshmallow. I picked up another pack. This store was kind of short on them, too. I guess everybody's buying it. But I got another pack. I got one yesterday or the day before because that's all the Walmart had that I was in. Well, this one here, they didn't have a whole lot either. It was pretty well cleaned out. So I, I took one 
from this store just to say, really love this scent. It's so sweet. It's sweet and creamy and sugary, vanilla-ish, but yet marshmallow-ish. That buttercream, it smells just so good. It's great alone, great as a mixer, great for toning down a harsh scent. Love this one. And I picked up two in the mainstays, Hawaiian coconut, which is lime, coconut, and vanilla. This smells like suntan lotion, the beach, whatever. This comes in a jar, the um, 20 ounce single wick large jar. It comes in that too. Who knows, by the time we get to spring and summer, it might be in some other formulation um, of wicks and jars yet too. But yeah, I got this and it's kind of like a light brown, like a light brown color and yeah, like I'm telling you, it smells of coconut, lime, smells like the beach, it smells like suntan lotion, but yet it smells a little fruity, like a fruity cocktail that you get at the poolside or beach. Yeah, it's just really good. It's nice and strong and this one throws well. So I picked up two of those. Probably be getting more of these as I get closer to summer because this is a good, um, obviously it's a good summer scent. But um, if you're where it's cold and you hate winter, pop one of these in. Like I said, with a lot of tropical fruity beverage scents that I like besides bakery, I put this on and I forget it's winter time. So, yeah, like this one a lot. This is another good one. It's nice and strong and it does throw well. Okay, then I picked one of these up. These are almost close to five bucks. This is the Yankee Candle Sweet Vanilla Horatia. Horatia, if I'm saying it right, I'm not sure. This is some kind, I guess, um, Mexican type of a beverage. This is 2.6 ounces of this. You didn't see it any, in any other formulation other than the wax melts um this is in pure all white wax and of course it's in the surfboard clam shell shape these are a bugger to get open at times oh my god okay like i said the surfboard look here and snow white this is very strong very perfumey smell a lot of vanilla in this but i smell some kind of a floral this is super strong in here so this is going to be a strong one when throwing this is this is very very strong i like i say always those heavy perfumey ones they're the ones that throw phew this is super strong i'm not sure what else is all in it but it is sweet vanilla yeah it's a sweet, very sweet vanilla, but there's perfumey floral in here and God knows what else. But this is super strong. And you get six of them, you know, cylinder cube shapes. So I picked up one of these. I think that's about all I'm going to need. This is probably, you know, not going to fizzle too fast once it's in the warmer. One, one piece it's more than enough it's very strong so i got one of those i was surprised to see this because it isn't in my walmart up the hill all right then i picked up two of these these are the mainstays three wick 11.5 ounce candles that i talked about at times this is the banana nut bread i've had this many times over the years it's still always available this is banana, walnut, and brown sugar. I've had it in the tall one too, but I got the three wick. But I've also had the three wick many a times. I've had this um, throughout the years many times. The banana nut bread, but I'm talking about this particular one. It's got that plastic, you know, lid on with the three punch holes. It is in a banana yellow shade. And it does smell like banana bread. It smells exactly like banana bread. So I picked up one of these and they were three dollars and not three ninety eight. They were actually under. They were three I think it was three eighty seven. They were dropped and rolled back a little bit on the price, the rollback. So 
yeah, I got the banana and nut bread. And these do fairly well um, because there's no white core to them. And then they pour around them. Once they drop that white core in there that's unscented, then they put the scent around. They do that in the single wick 20 ounces, but they don't do it these. This is solid all the way through. There's no, there's no separate core plug in there. And this one here is the Mainstays Frosty Sorbet, which is orange, citrus, and fruit. And I've had this in the wax melts many times since it, you know, came out. And it's still a fairly new scent. Yeah, it smells like orange freeze pops. That's what it smells like. Orange popsicles, orange freeze pops. This is not dream pop. It has not got the creamy vanilla mixed in with the orange sherbet. No, this smells like an orange ice pop. And I said I was going to get one, and I sure as hell did. I picked one up, finally in the candle. Mm, it smells so good. So I got banana and orange. Then my husband said... He was, you know, back by my side again. Once he found the teal, I said he went hunting them for them. I would have eventually got them, but he went and got them beforehand. So when he came back with them, and I was still looking things over in the first section of where the wax is in this store, the tea lights, everything was the next row over in another whole separate aisle. So when he came back, I was looking, and then he spotted this, but I spotted it before he got there. Now, I have had not very good luck whatsoever with Goose Creek wax melts in Walmart. I picked up many different ones, some of them more than once in the same sense. Me and my husband had terrible luck. The only one I really had any good luck with was the Pink Bellini wax melt. I had at least three or four of them over a period of time. They threw Anything else, no. We we couldn't get the key pop to, to, to throw right. We couldn't get the blueberry cheesecake to go right. We couldn't get the strawberry sponge cake. Hardly end them could we get them to throw. But the pink bellini did. Even the dragon fruit splash, I couldn't get it to throw. They all smell good, but I'm not having any luck with them. So... As I was saying, I will not be buying anymore. The only one I will buy when I want to, as long as it's available or I'm in the mood for it, I will buy the Pink Bellini. It's the only one I had any luck with. So I never bought the three wick candles ever from Walmart or from Goose Creek directly. But there's the same sense in the three wick candles the 14 ounces here that there is in the wax melts in Walmart. The same sense. They match up with each other. But I've never had one. I've never had a three wick 14 ounce Goose Creek. So my husband was looking at them and I was looking at them. And of course they were $12.97 a piece. So what do you think I grabbed? Sure enough, I grabbed the Goose Creek Pink Bellini. Now this writing is so freaking small on here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to read this right. I'm going to try my best. Oh, these are 14.5. I hope my camera's picking that up. 14.5 ounce. This is the candle. Never had these ever. First time. It says the scent notes down here is pink peach apricot blushing wine blushed wine so there it is with the wrap around on it very pretty we have the goose creek name there on the mirror lid right here and it says that this is soy wax with essential oils and Just says pink Bellini down here, you know, in about, you know, quarter inch, you know, when the tabbies, when the wicks burn down to the tabbies holders. So, anyway, this smells really good. Now, it is all white wax. We got the three wicks. The wicks look 
not too thin like thread but they don't look overly thick but thick enough so and you got three of them in there this smells so freaking good it smelled like the wax melted that actually threw for me but this smells even stronger like that wasn't strong enough this is super duper strong oh my god this is so good it's pink bellini the overall initial scent that I get from this, it smells like lemonade with a touch of grapefruit with some peach. It's sugary too. It's very zesty and that's what I like about it. So I got me one of these and it be my first time ever trying a Goose Creek three wicker in my whole entire life oh this just smells so good this is another scent I, I could just burn this every day from sun up to sundown yeah so this is really good for me because it's very very strong in here this smells like I made a beverage and it's right under my nose mm, this smells so good if I have good luck with this cross your fingers I do I'll definitely be buying a few more of these just in this scent because it's the only one that worked for me yeah this there's no problem smelling this sucker though i got the pink bellini hubby said let's try the candles okay so this is the one i spotted when he was looking for the tea lights on his own because i was going to go get the tea lights just let me look in one aisle at a time so here I spotted this and then when he came back he spotted it so we bought one this is the goose creek buttercream sprinkles again soy wax blend with essential oils scent notes of vanilla buttercream and cake 14.5 ounces just the same this is a cute wraparound label of a cake with lots of you know sprinkly candy sprinkle candies on it again we have the mirror Silver lid, the Goose Creek name. We got three wicks, white wax. And I do smell everything they're saying. I do smell the buttercream, the vanilla, and the cake. It smells like a birthday cake to me. Yeah, we have no problem smelling this. This smells just like birthday cake. So, same thing on the bottom. You know, warning, name. Um, their address and Facebook page and all that business. So we're going to give these two a shot. Oh, I love the smell of birthday cake, man. Whew. So does my husband. He likes anything that has that sweetness to candy, candy cookie sweetness business. But this, he's, this is not a business. My husband does not like peach whatsoever, but I love it. He's not keen about grapefruit either. But, yeah, I thought I'd pick these up. We both agreed to get these two and give them a shot. And, of course, I'll let you know in future videos how it worked out. So, these were, again, $12.97 a piece plus tax. Okay. Then, the two warmers I got. Now, normally I'm the person who buys the full-size warmers. But I didn't see anything that was speaking to me, and I own most of it. Um, and what new they've came out with recently, a few new ones. Um, some I liked, some I didn't like. And I thought, let me go with the plug-in. Like the other one doesn't plug in. Of course, the full-size one plugs in too. But what they call the plug-in. So this one here is the Sensational Wax Accent Warmer. New Accent Warmer. Um, for your choice of home fragrance. Fast, clean, and safe. This warmer glows, it says right there. This warmer glows. It's got the swivel plug. All the other basic information um, 
looking to see if this has a name on the box, what they're calling it. I don't see a name, so I'm not sure what the hell its name is really called. But this was $11. This one was $11. Of course, they got those sticky circle-y things on here. I'm going to take it out of the box to show you. I thought this was, you know, well, this is good for like any, any time of the year, all year long. But at the same end, it's really good for spring and summer. It's pretty because of, of the pattern and that it's white. So, like I said, here is... I think you push this button in or something right here, and the this swivels. So if your prongs aren't this um, in your outlet, if your prongs are not this way and they're the other way, this can turn to, you know, fit whatever outlet direction this goes into. So, and then it's got the off and on switch right here in the front. And we have... You know, some of this is metal, some of it's not metal. But we have this beautiful lace design that kind of looks like flower, four petal flowers, but yet crosses at the same end. And there's a clear, slightly frosted piece underneath here. A nice deep well. Do you see how deep that well is? This is just pretty. And then twist this off, and there we have the bulb already light bulb connected to the um, electrical part here. Looking to see on the bulb. I can't tell. It's kind of, there's like a, um, a crimp in the wrong spot right there where the writing is. I'm not sure if this is a 20 watt or a 15 watt bulb. Whichever it is, 15 or 20, I don't know. I can't see it. It's right where the numbers are. It's crimped, and you can't see it. Of course, we have this white rubber gasket on there, too. And then, of course, this just goes, you know, just follow. The two little notches on here match with the notches there. So we just stick this in and give it a twist. And then we have the lid for it. It's got five holes, and then it sits up there just like that it went right on this is silicone it is not ceramic or even metal it's silicone so if you choose to put this on it just sits right in there kind of like a plug that you put in the bathtub or a sink where you use one of the rubber plugs if you don't have the you know pulley thing up so yeah i thought this was beautiful for eleven dollars perfect for spring and summer the pattern um, so I got this one for 11 bucks, and then I picked up this one. This was $9.97. This is Better Homes and Gardens, which is also made from rim ports. This is called the Ripple Glass Accent Warmer. It's called Ripple Glass, its name. And it does not tell me on the carton outside. How many watts this one is either but we're gonna open it up look at it that way but I'm gonna take it out for you and there's its name ripple glass so give me a second here with these round sticky things again they put these on here so people can't be opening the boxes before purchasing and it could be because they don't want them flying open. But you know what I'm saying? It's those clear sticky things, the circles. They're a pain in the ass. But anyway, let me get this one open. And like I said, this one was $9.97. Okay. So here we go. We got instruction papers and this and that crap here too. But this one here, same thing. It's the white plug it turns you push this button right here it turns whichever way you need it to and then it comes off this way and again this is the same kind of bulb it's either 15 watts or 20 watts I'll try to see what this one says hopefully it's not crimped in the wrong spot it says 15 watts on this one it's much better it's not crimped where I can't make out 
So 15 watts, small space, or even in an area where you just want a whisper of scent, you're not into the heaviness of scents. Okay, then this one here, nice deep well on this. That's about how deep a shot is when you take a shot, a shot glass. That's how deep this is. That can easily take three wax melt there. It's so deep. Very, very deep. It's it's it, the depth of a shot glass. Okay, then we have this is glass. There is a plastic piece that matches. The white one had it also. It, it's a... Um, it's a plastic disc right here. It's not silicone. It's plastic. This one had it just the same. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it was there. So this here is a little cute ripple jar. Now, the thing is, this part doesn't come apart, and neither does this. This, you get a metal gold lid that has five holes, but this is metal, and then it sits on there. Now, the color is the thing. I don't know if you want to call this some kind of a plum. Like a, a plum color, a raisin color. It's not red. It's not exactly um, purple, lilac. It's like a rum. It's like a rum color, a rum raisin color, um, a light plum. Not a purpley plum, kind of like a reddish purple. I don't know. It doesn't say a lot, but it's awfully pretty for, you know, anywhere that you want to use one of these plug-in versions. So, it doesn't tell me anything else. It just says ripple jar. It does have a texture on the outside to this. And sh sh if this was able to come off, but it doesn't, I bet you the underside possibly could be rippled just the same, or maybe it's smooth. But this has a ripple, but it's a pretty color, but it's not exactly purple, and it's not exactly red. I'm telling you, it's something like a rum raisin shade, or a very light plum with a reddy brown undertone. I don't know, but I like it, so I took it for the $9.97. There happen to be a couple more newer plug-in versions like this um, between the $11 and the $9.98.97. There's a couple different kinds, but these are the two that caught my eye. So I'll be using these also in outlets. I might stick this one in the kitchen and I might stick this one maybe in my bedroom since I don't have um, nothing in there currently except a plug-in, but not for wax. A plug-in that's um, you know, the Glade thingies. The Glade liquidy thing. So, yeah. That's everything I got at Walmart. Um, so, if you like this video, Thumbs it up. If there's anything you want to know or you want to tell me, leave it down below. And I'm going to move on to the third video, which will be Ollie's. We had to go to Ollie's to get some things too. So, like I said, if you like this video, thumbs it up. And everyone be good, be kind. If you're just watching me for the first time, go back and check some out. So go check out some of my other videos. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. That way you'll know what's going on. I'd love to have you here. And yeah. So I'm going to end this video. And we're going to move on to video number three. So everyone be kind. Be good. Keep your spirit up. And I'll talk to you soon in another video. So long everyone. Bye bye.